Hi, I'm Aldias in Medium, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to try to bring religion and spirituality closer together, and this is what this pod is all about. I will talk about my own thoughts and feelings as I am both LDS and have spiritual gifts, something that I've had my whole life, but I always thought that it was hard to combine these gifts with my religion. This has torn me into two directions, and I have talked to many people who feel the same way. I can't choose not to have my spiritual gifts, but I can choose how I use them, and I always want to use them for good and to help others. I believe my heavenly parents gave them to me for a reason, so this is me. Join my quest for knowledge. Fear. What is fear? How does it feel, this feeling that binds us and keeps us immobilized? I've been thinking a lot about it since in my life, for the last few weeks, I've thought about it a lot from different perspectives. Fear of succeeding in life, fear of failure, fear of death, fear of living, fear of losing someone you love. We can apply fear to almost anything that we have. Fear is an important feeling. It's designed to keep us alive. But it's not designed to keep us trapped in our own emotional fear prison. And yet, there is so much we can learn from conquering our fears. I followed Danny Morrell on Instagram, and I found this quote. When our greatest fear is being alone, our standards for what we accept in relationships with others diminishes. And so does our happiness. When we face this fear and get comfortable with being alone, your standards go up, your heart opens, and your voice begins to speak from the new energy and power you feel within. You no longer accept what you once accepted because you've discovered what you once never fully knew or understood. Yourself. It's taken me 50 years to see the truth in that statement. I would never have chosen to be alone, but being alone and facing the fear of loneliness has given me lots of time to get to know myself. And in knowing myself, I also see other people in a different light. Now, I'm not scared of being alone. I kind of look forward to it. Well, one day I might actually be it, but now I'm never alone. At work, I'm surrounded by hundreds of children and adults, and at home I have my own kids and my neighbors, the sisters that come to visit me and my family. And yet, in the midst of all the chaos, I stand alone. And I like it. I like that the fear have made me discover so many things about myself, including all the fears I have about pretty much everything. I'm not afraid to be alone, and my fear of spiders have greatly diminished. I'm not afraid to say no anymore. I'm working on that every day. So getting to know fear and using it as a tool for growth has been really good for me. But I'm using my fear. I do not let it run me, or at least I try my best not to. Fear and love cannot coexist is a saying I have loved. You can either choose love or fear. I want to live my life from love. But when fear comes over me, I use that as a compass to see what triggers it. We have so much intuition inside of us and we hold all the answers. So it's important to tune in and see what triggered the fear. Once you know the why, it's easier to deal with the emotions. My youngest son loves roller coasters. He knows so much about amusement parks and roller coasters. But after the accident in our amusement park, where one person lost their life earlier this summer, my son didn't go, even though he had a summer pass. Finally, he mustered up courage to go, and I followed him there. He got more and more anxious the closer we got, and outside he said, Mom, I don't want to go in anymore. So I did what any mother would do. I forced him. But first, I muscle tested him, showing him that, yes, your mind is scared of riding a roller coaster, but your spirit is not worried at all. So after filling in his body, he went in and went on a few rides, and after that he was done. But he went in and took the rides, and the world didn't end, no accident. He needed that. He needed to go there and to ride a roller coaster to be able to conquer fear of the one thing he loves most in this world. When we are young, we are fearless. Because we don't know consequences. When we grow up, we see consequences of everything. So. How do we juggle this reality of fear on one hand and living out of love on the other? Well, one doesn't necessarily take away from the other. Like in life, there has to be differences. 
happiness, sorrow, health, pain. We live in a world of duality. The trick is not to get stuck and only live out of fear. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden must have lived a wonderful life, right? But there was only joy, only health, only closeness to God. There was no counterpart. So even though they lived in bliss, did they appreciate it? Could they fully appreciate it? If you only were healthy, would you take it for granted? I'm going to end with a quote by Richard Branson. If your dreams doesn't scare you, they are too small. Let's not work against fear. Let it be feedback. Why do you feel fear? In what regards and what does it hold you back from achieving? And who is it that wants to hold you from going after whatever that is? Is it Lucifer or is it God? All that is what's on my mind. Being afraid my entire life, afraid of having gifts, of being different, of helping people, of not helping people, of succeeding, of failing, spiders and heights, you name it. But one thing I'm not afraid of anymore is being alone. And I'm not really afraid of dying. I'm just afraid of a painful death. But I think that's because I found myself and I'm becoming more and more the person I like to be. And living true to myself has taken lots of fear away. So, use fear. Don't let it use you. See it as feedback and live from a place of love. Be the light, share the light, spread the light and shine. This is my journey. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Please download, like, share and subscribe and help spread the light and spread the word to expand our community. Let's bring more love, peace and unity to this world. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Always be grateful, kind and loving. Be brave and remember to step out of your comfort zone and smile. If you support us on Patreon, you will get access to our meditations and extra materials so you can download them as MP3. Also, we now have a Facebook group which you can access from our Facebook community. Please answer the questions as you apply to participate. It will be a safe haven where we can keep discussing religion and spirituality, our spiritual gifts and self-development. Remember, one person can make a difference, but together we can change the world.